We are back with a new episode of The Wind Down, and today we are joined by Kendrick Sampson, who plays Nathan to discuss Loki trying. So Issa and Nathan have a big heart to heart this episode. Do you think Nathan still has lingering feelings for Issa? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he he also has like guilt, you know. He went away for a minute to figure his shit out and then all of a sudden he's back and he's in an intimate space with her. Is it unreasonable of him to expect that she wouldn't move on? Like the reaction to hearing that she was back with Lawrence was mad shady. Nah, I think it's one of those things, especially think, since he thinks he has everything together, where you're like, I'm good, you know, right. whatever happens, happens, you know, and when it actually comes face to face, you're like, hold up, you for real? Yeah. Oh, so you just gonna move on like that? But it's also a very dude thing to put him down immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, 100%. Oh, this, I'm like, the dude that's like, you ain't got no shoes? Like, yeah, well, that's what you win? Like, <laughs> like, you know, even if you're like over it, you still yeah. gotta be like, but nah. I'm better. Also, from this perspective, you got to be starting to kick it a little bit. So like, in his mind, it's like, okay, I helped you with the block party. I called you afterwards. You came by my shop. We kicked it at the game night. You know what I mean? So it's like- There's some hope. There's some hope yeah, that like, oh, maybe hope. us kicking it is like going somewhere. So yeah. it is like a little bit of a he's thrown. Like, I ain't doing this for you to reciprocate. But if you do, <laughs> right. I ain't gonna be mad at right. it, you know. It was also like Nathan was like dropping little things like, well, I did get the idea for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the block party, you know. He steadily just reminded her, yeah, just steadily reminded her how like, dope he was. Like, ha <laughs> 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 I was just, I was just better for real, yeah, you know. Right. I, I did get the idea. <laughs> How does Issa, Issa's perception of how he ghosted change once she learns the reason why is he's also bipolar? Yeah, I think that that puts so much in perspective. I think it goes from a typical millennial dating experience mm -hmm. of a man not being able to use his words and then coming back around all of a sudden to be like, we good, right? <laughs> right. So like, oh, he actually had personal mental health issues that he needed to deal with and he needed to take the time to do that. And you, you, you become more understanding because you know, we start off the season in a, in a very self-reflective way with Issa yeah. being like, self-care Sunday. And I think in some ways that, that might have been a bit superficial. And here is, you know, <laughs> someone who's dealing with so, with something where he actually needs Real to self -care. take care of himself. Yeah. Real self-care. Is that superficial? I mean, them self-care Sunday, like we actually do have to take care of ourselves. And sometimes that's kind of the debate that I'm going back and forth with, like, should she be with him or not, you know? Um, what would I do in this situation and all that kind of stuff is just like people have mental health issues and it's not you know necessarily as scary as a lot of people think it is yeah. um, there's a full spectrum of, of mental health issues but at the same time we have to factor in our own health and how we deal with people and just realize it's just another thing yeah. you know true how do you approach and how does it feel playing a, a black man with, with mental health issues? I mean, the way I, I see it, you can't grow up in America and be black and not have some sort of no. mental health <laughs> problems, <laughs> whether it's PTSD or something. So it was important for me to play this. It was important for me to have this as a, as a discussion, a conversation starter, and also to amplify those, those issues that are important to me. You know, you and I had conversations, we had conversations in the room about, you know, how do we reveal this? How do we do this? So it doesn't feel like, uh, dun, 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 yes. you know what I mean? As a, as a thing, and how do you honor it? How do we destigmatize it? How do we play it as like, this is one thing I'm dealing with, but it doesn't, you know, de like define me, you know what I mean? And, and, and I believe we did a good job in terms of how it comes out and how we talked about it, uh, at least on the page, and, and I believe in the performances as well. So it doesn't feel like we're doing a mic drop of a thing that we're just saying, hey, this isn't a thing that we need to like make be this, you know, it's an issue, this but it's not, point. yes, this giant yeah, plot point yeah. in that way. And it's a part of his life that he's dealing with like a lot of us are, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It provides some nuance. And y'all did a good job with that, you know, you know Thank you for your help. <laughs> <laughs> But, well, thank you so much again for joining us for another episode of The Wind Down. Please join us next week for the final episode of the season. Yeah. You don't want to miss it. See you soon. Cheers. One Cheers. more. Cheers. Spend ultimate.